Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! I'm looking forward to looking at this competition. Welcome to Street Smart Swing, folks. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. I love looking at good Lindy Hop. It's usually rare to have uh, people who are actually good at something also be the judge at something. Um, I don't know how it is with other industries, but we have a lot of good dancers who are great judges. And I want to be able to give you my opinion of this competition. Of course, all of us are biased. We have our way of looking at things to determine what's good, what's considered mediocre. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm going to tell you what I'm looking for afterward. I'm just going to watch it for the first time because I haven't seen this one and just just give my response to it afterward. All right. And here we go. And here we go. All right. Harlem, Vilnius, Lithuania. It's crazy. Jack and Jill finals. Ooh, it's to a live band too. That's good. some familiar faces I'm not sure what level of dancing this is but from what I can see these dancers are advanced and higher so hopefully I can see something I haven't seen before once they kind of get right into the grind that's we will see Peter. 
So I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like that. I don't like anything that's kind of gimmicky when it's slow. I want to actually see good dancing slow. So for me, I don't rah-rah on that as a judge. I'm just looking at, okay, great. They want to be silly. The audience might scream, but I'm screaming inside <laughs> for another reason. <laughs> Helena and Simon. So as of right now, now one couple is dancing together. And this might be entertaining for the audience, but it can kind of make me overrate their dancing because it makes me want to like them if everybody's screaming. But it actually, they're not doing anything. They're not dancing. Serena and Felipe. See, I would laugh a little bit if they decided to dance just a little bit. I don't know why they're making them go out like that, but I just, it's, I guess that's what they're wanting to do. Eggle and Seth. See what happens. Okay. They're going out together. Who is this? Alright, they're coming back out again. Alright. So I guess that's just the structure. They came out a little bit separate. I can't penalize them if that's the format, but I'm happier now that they're moving together. Okay, so right now I'm, I'm really paying attention because they started moving slowly together and I can see the follower moving.
All right, let's see who's next. See what they actually do now. They had some humor. They had a lot of control, but it, it's it remains silly the majority of the time. So so far right now I have uh, the very first couple in first, and I have Felipe and Serena second. But this couple has my attention. I've already got my my group ranked. We're gonna talk about this one. Round two. Yes, same thing, same thing. Two times out the first time, eight eights solo. Here we go. Time, eight eights partner. Okay? Peter will be there to help you out. There's no intro on this song, right? Yeah, there is an intro. There is an intro. Okay. All right, everybody. Okay, so I got my order. You guys ready to see your ultimate best Yes, I am. I got my order for slow, which will probably be different for fast, so we'll see. This is the rules, or they're just doing this. So we'll see. So it looks like this is the format where they can't touch and <laughs> try to make something look good with it. Okay. Trombone player is killing it. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay.
swing out! <laughs> All right. All right. I got to admit that was entertaining. I'm pr I probably would have chuckled a couple of times if I was in the audience. The the necessary chuckle. I would have uh internally as a judge, if I was sitting there, probably would have been a little bit annoyed that you know, people weren't taking the slow segment just a little bit more seriously. Um, even some of the dancing when it was faster, it was, it was kind of like just for entertainment. That's okay, too. That's okay, too. I don't know if this uh, particular competition was prefaced by that, hey, we're just going to have fun. It's going to be goofy. It's going to be silly. And we want to make the audience laugh. I don't know if that was the case. But for my case, I don't know. And I'm just going to be looking at what I saw and what I would say would get my attention if I was a brand new dancer, but would also get my respect if I was a really good dancer. So there's really difficult ways of looking at this. If you're looking at uh, <clears throat> a balance of the solo, a balance of slow, and a balance of fast going together, I would probably have to say my third place would go to Elsa and Martinez, right? I liked them for third because uh actually no i would like them for second right they would be my second favorite couple and i'm not actually looking at uh the stuff that they did when they were just separate kind of moving around because that's just dumb <laughs> what am i supposed to look at right so i guess that's just part of the routine but for me that i'm not i can't fairly judge them as a leader and a follower together when they're not touching. So I'm not, I didn't scrutinize that. So the only thing I was looking at is what they did when it was slow and what they did when it was fast. And for them, they were second place. They were my second place couple. The reason is because I liked the fact that they showed me some control of the technique when it was slow. They first came out and they were just kind of moving slow. And I said, okay. In my mind, I was waiting to see how he would make the follower look when it was moving that slow. And I also don't prefer when it's like hypersexual, when they're just like making the follower do all this stuff and, and act silly. You know, I get it. A lot of people like that. But for me, I wasn't looking at that as the determining factor. I was looking at what they were actually doing that was, in my mind, my biased, subjective mind, something that looked respectable that my grandmother would look at and go, okay, they look like maybe he's you know, wanting to be with her as they dance, right? Versus like move her neck around and stuff. That's just me. So in my book, they got second on that. Uh, their fast dancing was great. I liked, I liked what I saw. I mean, most of the dancing at this level, they have high levels of control of the technique. So I'm not gonna micro judge how well they did a swing out and things like that because they could do it. And it's more about how they wanted to look doing it, which is more about preference. Um, aside from the very thing that they're doing. Like if I can't see the follower move without the leader constantly moving, then it's really not a transfer of energy, either physically where the follower can feel it and visually so the audience can take a look at it. <coughs> Excuse me. And they didn't violate that that much, that much. So props to them because I that kept me in the competition watching them get second place. Now, the first place winner for me, uh, and I wish they did a little bit more dancing on the slow one, was Serena and Felipe. I was surprised uh, by their slow dancing. That was really, really cool. They came out at the pace that I would say is okay, respectable. They're moving together as one. The leader's not being too forceful with the movements and getting ahead of the music. Uh, not being too overly suggestive and, and sexual with the partner. I didn't see too much of that. I saw more uh, creativity with the movement. However, I will say I saw the leader doing more than the follower. And for me, that just kind of takes it back a little bit. But because they actually did more dancing together as opposed to just trying to be funny and gimmicky, I valued them more as a judge. So my eyes initially stayed on them looking for what they were going to do next. Now, I didn't like everything. Of course, everything is subjective. Most of it is. But what they did that was um, in line with what I was looking for as a judge was well-suited. 
I also like their fast. Both of them were moving with the same amount of energy and I didn't see the leader out moving the follower. Usually I like seeing that when the leader is setting something up for the follower, but I can't stand seeing that as a judge when the leader sets something up for the follower, then the leader starts moving so that my eyes can't pay attention to the follower. So for me, they got first place. Hats off to them. That would have been an interesting competition. I probably wouldn't have participated in it if it was me. Uh, and I probably would have judged and like, or been in the background like yelling, woo, just to be fun and be part of the crowd. But really I wouldn't, uh, you know, it would be no big deal. I know some of these answers and I know they could dance a lot better, um, but I guess it was just for fun. But if I was still judging and they were being judged for this, those are my winners. I don't even really have a third place because everything else was kind of the same. I will say I saw a move that I really liked by Peter and his partner Martina. I'm not, I don't want to mispronounce it, but she was in the red dress and he had the gray vest on. It was one of the first couples. Their slow together was pretty cool. They almost took first place for me if their fast would have been like serious. If they would have taken it a little bit more seriously, I probably would have moved them up to maybe even first place. How weird is that? One set can like throw everything off when you're judging. So of course I'm looking at this from my big screen computer and I can't go back and try to micro analyze everything and re-rate it. No, I've got to pretend as if I'm seeing it for the first time like I usually do at events and that is my ranking. So what do you guys think? Who do you think should have won that competition? I could be completely wrong having an opinion. Doubtful. <laughs> <laughs> I love having an opinion and you do too. The only difference is in most cases, I like to put mine out there boldly and I'd love to hear what your opinion is in the comments section. So who do you think should have won that competition? I gave you my reasons why and what I was looking for and they may be a little different than yours. So uh, hit me up, let me know. If I don't see you in class in one of my online classes, maybe some of the ones below you can check out. I got like 30 of them. Um, I will see you in the next reaction video. I look forward to it. Have a great day. Happy New Year. Take care.